Congratulations to you, Omotola. It's Thank been you. a while we saw you on screen, and to hear that this is your first AMVC appearance and you won, it's a very big deal for us who have monitored and watched you from all the way when we were young. Congratulations to you. Thank you very much. Mm. And uh, now that you're back, do we say that you're actively back, or you just, you know, you just decide to do this one and you go back to rest? No, I'm back. I'm back, but. I'm not back like you're going to be seeing me doing movies all the time. I'm sorry to break your heart, but I want to do very good movies. I want to, if I do one, two movies in a year, I'm fine. So that's my goal, to do at least two good movies in a year, and I'm fine. And so it, it takes a lot to find those sort of movies and to, and to be a part of them the way you want to be a part of them. I hope to raise the standard. And so you can't just pay me to be in a movie anymore. It doesn't just work that way. There's so many things that need to be put in place, budget-wise, um, royalties, back end. You know, so a lot of people get scared and all of that, but I always stop. I'm, I'm willing to work with you um, and help you get it right if your project is worth it. So. Is that to say that you think that the standard is falling? Because you say you want to make sure the standard is right. Not, not pretty much fallen. Um, I would say we haven't just done um, we've not gone too far away from where we have always been. Um, you know, there's some standards when it comes to movie making, um, you know, that we're not yet doing. Um, worldwide standards, you know, acceptable standards. And so, hopefully, I want to help push that so that this industry can stand the test of time and that we can also compete with other climbs and that it can take us seriously and we can have the collaborations that we so desperately need and they can't do that right now because there are some basic things that we don't put in our contracts if we even do have any do you understand so um for example a sag movie is not going to come shoot here because you don't have you know things it, you know in your contract or or the infrastructure for a sad movie to be shot. So these are the things that hopefully we're going to change very soon. Now, we are very excited as Africans to see you become part of the Oscars, um, the board. What does that mean for you, having worked all these years, to be like, that's for a lot of people, the creme de la creme uh, of the movie industry, find themselves there. What does it make you feel? I feel, I'm, I'm, I feel privileged, first and foremost, let me put it that way. I feel privileged, I feel happy that in my lifetime <laughs> this is happening. We would have thought it would take forever for us to get to this point. But I've, by God's grace, I've seen a lot of firsts in the industry. Um, starting in this industry when it was extremely young and there was nothing happening as far back as 1994, 95, to get into a point where we became Nollywood, the second largest movie industry in the world. Now to um, to the level where um, we're now being recognized um, internationally, I mean on, on that level, not just our fans and all of that, but on, on the Oscars, you know, and being invited as members and, you know, being invited to do other things as well. I think Nollywood is closer than we thought um, to being seriously recognized and hopefully the collab. I'm just about the collaborations. I don't want us to become Hollywood. I want Hollywood to find us, because that's the biggest movie industry in the world, so you can't ignore it. But I want them to find us standard enough to do collaborations with us, because I know that we're better than them. <laughs> now, I heard you also say, and I have monitored on your social media platform, the works your son have done. You've talked about how you want him to produce you. Is this something you're serious about, or are you just saying that? No, no, I'm serious. Have you heard his music? Yeah. He's, he's a genius. He's amazing. I, 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 I'm his fan. And I'm not saying this because he's my son, because I could just say, oh, he's, a, he's, a, he's good, and I just, I'm his great fan. And the kid is very stubborn, like he's very stubborn, like he would do what he wants to do. But then again, he's still in school. So I want to believe when he leaves and his, you know, reality hits him, he will come for his mama and say, okay, let's get into the booth and let me, let me also record you. Um, if I must say myself, I'm a good singer. But a lot of people will not understand that for now, because I haven't made a, a success of my music career as much as I've done in the movie industry. But people who have taken their time, who don't, who can go past the, the, she's an actress, and listen to my music, I have heard, I mean like, I've, look, my song was used for, um, was adapted at uh, Amnesty International. I'm signed to Bangalore Universal. They're not stupid. They're not stupid. Mm. You don't think that is your, your, your personality or your role as an actress that influenced all that? They could have just used me as an ambassador. <laughs> they, they wouldn't need to sign me up as a singer, you know, I mean, um, have you listened to any of my... I have, I have. Yeah, you should. You know, you have, you have great fans in Ghana, so we, we follow. Oh, yeah, so oh, I didn't hear yeah. about it. Ghana is my second uh, country. <laughs>
Yes, I love Ghanaians. Um, I, I have had um, two or three managers from Ghana. My main manager, my publicist is Ghanaian, even though she's American, but she's of Ghanaian descent. And then I've done a lot of work in Ghana. I don't know. I just, Ghana just keeps dragging me. <laughs> and the reality show that you... Yeah, that, a lot of that was in Ghana as well. Yeah, yeah. What happened to it? Are you done? Are you hoping to come back? I don't want to, except Why? there's a wonderful offer it's just too evasive for me it's too evasive i like to i like to show what i want to show and keep the rest and with the reality show you have to be truthful you have to show as much as possible um so as i said maybe if i get a very lucrative and then now the kids are grown at the time when we started they were still you know in secondary school it was too much for me at the time for them you know but now they're all adults my last kid is done with secondary school is going to university so now you know it would work for them if we were to do it because now they're adults and they can handle it. Congratulations to you once more, ma'am. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.